goers. If you're new to the channel, my name is Christian. Welcome to SeaWorld Productions. You guys, we have a new TV spot for Lion King called Home Again. Lion King comes out next month, you guys. And I am so excited. It's one of my most in top anticipated films of the year. I cannot wait to see what Jon Favreau has put together in this new rendition of The Lion King. Now, I heard in this little TV spot, we get a little snippet of a brand new voice. Beyonce as Nala. I still can't believe they got Beyonce to be Nala. What a star-studded cast. Seth Rogen as Pumbaa. Come on. It's just so great. And I'm so happy that, you know, uh, James, Earl, James Earl Jones has come back to do Mufasa. Like, that's, that's, that's icing, literally. Icing on the, the cake. Because I can't imagine anybody else playing Mufasa but James Earl Jones. But I'm excited. Like I said, I, I enjoyed Aladdin. I really had a great time watching that movie. Now, leaning forward, now we have The Lion King. Like, if these, if these live-action Disney movies are going to be great, then I'm all with it. I'm all for it. Like, let, let's, keep, let's keep doing them. You know what I mean? Like, I can't wait. Lion King's a huge part of my childhood, and it's a huge part of many other childhoods as well. Like, many people love this movie, and this movie's going to make so much money at the box office. I can't wait, you guys. Let's check out this TV spot. Simba, you have to take your place as king. We need you. Go Island. Oh. Oh shit. Come home. We're here. Oh, everyone, calm down. We're here. The backup has arrived. <laughs> yeah, this looks so Not good. I'm excited for this movie. Like, it looks so good. The visual effects and how all the animals look, look astonishing. They look so realistic. God, I cannot wait for this. And there's a lot of like, a lot of like weird fandom going on with um, Pumbaa and people are saying how he looks terrifying. Well, that's what, that's what he looks like in real life, buddy. <laughs> like, come on now. Oh man, we got a glimpse at the end. We got a glimpse of Scar and Simba throwing down. With all the fire in the background on top of Pride Rock. Oh, yeah, this movie's gonna be fire. Like, I. It, it's gonna be crazy to experience that scene when Mufasa dies again. To, to re experience that, but not only to be a viewer of it, to be a viewer of children in the theaters experiencing that scene. Getting, it, get, getting the perspective from a, an adult now. You know what I'm saying? Like, now I get to witness that. Like, that's going to be heartbreaking. I don't want to see these little kids cry and everything, but I understand, though. You know what I mean? I'm going to be like, I'm with you, little man. I'm with you, little girl, man. We all together. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. My girlfriend's so excited. She's like, oh, my God, baby, like it. I'm like, okay, okay. Like, we're, we're going to go see it. Uh, tickets should be going on sale soon, maybe within a couple weeks. Because what comes out July 16th. So I expect tickets to go on sale within maybe a week and a half, two weeks. But Lion King is definitely my top list, you guys. I can't wait. I want to see all the songs, hear all the songs, see what they're going to put in there. Of course, then you know they're going to throw Hakuna Matata in there. It has to be in there. has to, has to be in there. Uh, I don't think Be Prepared is going to be in there by Scar, um, which is kind of a bummer because that's one of my favorite songs. But who knows? I guess we got to wait and see and find out, right? But post your comments down below, you guys. Let me know what you guys thought about this TV spot. Come home for The Lion King. And how well do you think it's going to go up against the original? Post your comments down below, you guys. And thank you for taking time today for watching SeaWorld Productions. Peace.